Hello and welcome to a very quick beginner's guide to the FMC for the 737. So when you're in the cockpit here, you're going to come down to the FMC. Now I've got ground power already on, so we've got some systems uh, powered on and everything. First thing you want to do is go into PMDG setup. And you want to go through the options here. So aircraft equipment, displays, failures, etc, etc. And just set this up how you see fit. The same for the options as well. This is completely dependent on yourself and what you prefer. Then what you want to do is you want to type in cold dark into the, the pad down here and hit start state. Now, next time you load the aircraft, it will start in a cold and dark situation. If you want another one, you just quickly, simply click on state load and pick on any of these you want and sell it in there. So it would always load in that manner. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to load up a flight plan. So you can either type it in manually or do what I do and do a company route. Now I'm going to use SimToolkit Pro here and you can also use SimBrief if you wish. Uh, so for example, we're at Stansted and we'll go up to Edinburgh. Now I don't think I've actually got a Ryanair 737 uh, set up uh, the 700 variant, only the 800. So I'll use that as an example for now. Not a problem at all. You're going to hit generate plan. And once that's loaded, and you're happy with everything. You've changed the uh, departure arrival if need be, if you're on a network, for example. But all you want to do is you want to hit export, export for FMS plans, select the PMDG flight plan. I'll put a link where this saves on your PC uh, and save it in there. And also you're going to want the wind uplink as well. And again, I'll put in the description below, I'll put where this is saved on your computer and uh, you hit save. Now, if you are using SimBrief, it's not a problem at all. You've got the same thing loaded up here. I've generated the plan and all you're going to do is you're going to come all the way down to the bottom unless you're using the SimBrief downloader and you're going to look for PMDG flight plan and PMG wind uplink and just download those files uh, ex exactly the same location for where it would be for SimToolkit Pro, for example. But once you've done that, you simply go into uh, FMC. Then we're going to go back a page here. So initialization. Uh, so this is what you'll be greeted with. So you've got pause in it. So we're going to click on this and then we're going to type in where we are. So EG SS reference airport. Now what you are going to want to do is you're going to make sure your uh, alignments are on at nav if you are starting cold and dark. And in a moment that will give us a position where we can tell the aircraft where we currently are. So we'll come back to that in a second. If you've already done that, it, the, the, there it is there. So you'd see this already. So we're just going to simply click the top one, put that into here, and now the um, irises will align. Go to route, and this is where we can do the co-route. So E, G, S, S, and E, G, P, H. Co-route, and there it is. Flight number. So if you add a flight number, for example, <coughs> excuse me, Ryanair, uh, I always do 236, for example. So flight plan, there we go. So uh, flight number, sorry. And we're going to activate and you're going to hit execute. Perf in it, next page. So at this stage is where you do your fuel, uh, zero fuel weight, your gross weight, etc. So what we're going to do is on this menu, you're going to go to uh, FS actions and then you'd put your fuel and payload in. So if you were using something like Sintel Kit Pro, so I'm just going to hit fly now. Now, you can obviously get this from the OFP if you're using uh, just only SimBrief. But if you're using SimToolkit Pro, you can go to Load Sheet, pop out Load Sheet, and then we can go back into the Sim here, and we've got this here. So, for example, in this one, if we go to Fuel, we're taking, let's see, Block Fuel, 6,108 uh, kilograms. So you'd simply type in 6, 1, and I'll just round it down, actually. So 0, 0, and you put in the total fuel into kilograms there. And if you're using pounds, again, you do that in the initial um, part of the aircraft setup. So if we go back here, this is all in the uh, setup pages uh, to pounds or kilograms. So back into FS action. So we've got our fuel and then we need to put our payload in. So passengers, uh, we are taking 142. So 142. In that goes. And cargo, we're taking 400 kilograms of cargo. So all I'm going to do is going to go 200 in forward and 200 in aft and that part's done and there's our zero fuel weight so um, SimBrief gave us a zero fuel weight of 57,291 uh, kilograms 
and this is giving us a zero feel weight of 51.1 again this is set for the uh 738 not the 737 700 variant okay um so we're happy with that and all you do now back on perf in it is you're going to click on zero fuel weight and i'll uh populate this here and you click it again and that will put your gross weight and your zero fuel weights in from this information over here our reserves are going to be one so one cost index is five uh, our cruise altitude is 34,000 feet, so 340, and that goes up here. Um, now, the cruise and wind, uh, this is at your, um, you know, your the winds at the cruise. So if we go back onto the OFP here, you can literally, get, at the very top, you'll get that here. So average winds is 195 for 007. That's quite cool. 195 for 007. So 195 forward slash 007. And just simply put that there and there it goes transition altitude um, this is again where you put that in it's always default set to 18,000 uh, for example uh, without bringing up charts or anything let's just say it's 6,000 so you just put in uh, 6,000 like this and that will be a transition once you're happy with this you're just gonna hit execute we're gonna click on n1 limit now this is to derate your engines I never derate the engines there's no need it's a simulator um, your engines you don't have to prolong the life of the engines uh, this is equivalent in an Airbus for example doing either toga or flex temp uh, so I just simply hit takeoff uh, flaps tend to always be five for a 737 so we're gonna put flaps five in center of gravity you just simply click that and it'll populate down here we're gonna click it again now we don't have any V speeds why because we haven't set up our departure so we click on here so we're gonna go to oh my mistake we need to go to FMC we're going to click on departure so departing from standard and again if we bring up uh, sim toolkit pro here um, or you got it basically your route here as well so we use that one actually from the load sheet so we're departing on this example runway 22 and it will be the utav one romeo so next page there it is and there's no transition and you hit execute and look at that our v speeds are now populated the same again so we're going to hit departure and arrival and arriving at, um, at edinburgh you simply put in your arrival so in this case we are ILS 24 we'll put in and it is going to be the mp or pi one echo uh, which is right there no transition there and i don't think we'll have a transition for the arrival part so we'll just execute that now in the legs page this is your route itself so you always want to go through this by hitting next page or previous page here and what you're looking for is this this is a disco so basically at this point it won't continue with the flight plan um, it will just carry on the current heading to get rid of that you simply click on the, 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 the point below it and then click in there in the, the boxes and hit execute if it said vector you do exactly the same thing vector means when you get to the so if vector was below tartan here when you get to tartan and it gets the vector it will just fly that current head in you're currently on so we're going to continue it would say basically that there vector there and you do the exactly the same thing you select the waypoint below it and then you would replace it the boxes or where it says vector and hit execute and that will get rid of any of the lines and connect the flight plan together now we've got our v speeds so we're just going to simply click through all these and there we go so our v2 is 132 and our trim is 6.16 so at that stage is when you would then program the mcp so in this case it was 132 so i always do 132 or whatever it may be then plus five so in this case it will be 137 and then you've got obviously your altitude you'd select here as well your trim your trim's right here you need uh, engine power and hydraulic systems to be able to move the trim wheel uh, but you've set that to 1.6 and that is you pretty much ready for your departure um, that, that is it's as simple as that so you've got your route in you've got your takeoff uh, parameters and everything the aircraft knows what it's doing um, and if you need to go back to any, any time to any previous page you just simply hit index and you can go through the whole process it's as simple as um, I don't and then you just work your way through each page like this um, and then there you are now a little cool thing you can do as well with downloading the wind uplink uh, file you can go to desk 
which is descent click on forecast request wind forecast that will highlight and then uh, you've got to give it a minute and you'll get a notification pop up at the bottom uh, while we wait for that notification what you can also do is if you go to fix page and what you can do is oh there we go i'll come back to that in a second now what you can do with that is you can put rings around the approaching airport so it gives you a better example of how far out you'd be now what i like to do is i'll use stansted as an example because we're here so you put in the way uh, airport in question so in my case stansted you did four slash 20 which will be 20 nautical miles four slash 10 which is 10 nautical miles and four slash five which is five nautical miles and as you can see here it will put these lovely rings around the airport let's just increase that range there we go so as you're coming in so say this is our approaching airport as you're coming in on this track here you know as soon as your aircraft is here you are 20 nautical miles away from the airport and then as you're turning finals for example so let's just work it like this so say this is this is a very short final but say you're turning finals here you know you're going to be five nautical miles away from the airport as you turn onto this or in this case is with departing as you're getting around here then you know you're five nautical miles away from the airport um just a nice little handy feature so we're going to go back to desk uh, which is descent forecast and now we can hit load and we'll wait for this to populate there we go and what you want to do is you want to get weather information for your arriving airport so weather details we'll get it from uh, sim toolkit pro here and what you want is you want the q and h or the altimeter depending where you are so in this situation it's 1019 so you're going to type in forward slash 1019 and put that right here where it says isa dev slash q and h and we're going to hit execute and what that does is the aircraft now knows what the winds will be on your descent so that will actually push your, or pull or push your top of descent further away from you or closer to you depending on what the winds are for a better descent rate uh just a nice little handy little thing along with the fixed page so working our way through here this is in its refs working up the systems when you're airborne and you're in your cruise if you hit in at ref again that is where you'll get your landing information so that's where you'd select your flaps and it would give you your v speeds it would also tell you uh the if there's an ils it'll tell you the uh, ils frequency the course as well um then you've obviously got your route information here this is your climb so as you're climbing out this is what the information you have your cruise so if you want to change your um your max speed in your cruise you just simply type in for example 0.8 for 0.8 mac and put it in target speed and hit execute so it would try and maintain 0.8 mac in your cruise uh unable to 250 knots at s card at s do or do uh you sometimes get these informations it's just basically telling you to be cautious at this point you may struggle to get those speeds so some speed brakes may be required etc or some management on your side then you've obviously got your descent profile uh, which we've just actually worked through our, um, the forecast as well you've got obviously the main menu so if you hit menu it goes back to here so if you need to do anything else in the, the setup or anything your legs page which is your route information your departure and arrival where you can set your sits and stars if you need to go into a hold you can do that through here as well that's a totally different ball game uh, recommend charts for holds as well your progress so this is your just overall progress uh how much fuel we should have when we land uh, um in our destination etc um and there's your m1 limit for derating your engines if required your fix which is what we've gone over as well and obviously your previous and next pages as well you can obviously set up multiple fixes um and that's that's basically it that's a very quick guide to the fm uh, fmc um and getting you set up for doing some flying around the world any questions please drop them in the comment below and i'll do my best to answer if i have missed anything i do apologize but just a basic guide i hope you have a fantastic day take care bye bye